Good day everyone. My name is Kenneth Brail LLC and I am here to uh, present to you our case analysis on the Malaco Dilemma. So the case is told in the point of view of Henry Tan, the Chief Operations Manager of Malaco Incorporated. He was given the authority by the CEO to decide on how to handle the current problems that the company is facing. The CEO provided restrictions on how Henry Tan should go about with the company's problems. Mm. So what are these problems that the company is facing? Uh, the first one is how the company will build their clients on time. The second is how the company will minimize the pilferages within the organization. And the last one is how to increase the skill level of the employees. Uh, what are the facts of the case? Uh, Melaco is a trucking company whose primary client is San Miguel Corporation. The company is tasked to deliver goods and materials from the suppliers to the distributors. Every department seems to be doing well except for the finance department who is facing challenges with the company's drivers. So what are these challenges that the finance department is facing? First is the, the driver's cash advances. Monaco drivers have high cash advances which eventually led to a pilferage issue due to the fact that they haven't been given their expected salaries at the end of the month because of said cash advances. The next one is an integrity issue. Uh, there is an integrity issue amongst the employees, specifically the drivers, because there was an because there was an incident wherein they used one of the company's trucks for their personal use, which led to the loss of merchandise. Third is the admin staff's incompetency. The admin staff fails to provide its clients their billings on time. There have been several instances wherein Henry Tan received emails from customers informing him of these late billings, which could lead to uh, uh, a relationship issue with the customers. Uh, Henry Tan is also prohibited to by the CEO to fire its employees that are involved in the problem because finding competent replacements would pose as a problem since the more skilled workers have already taken jobs from abroad. So what are the objectives of this case analysis? It is to improve on the finance department's situation regarding the company's issues on pilferage. The second one is to improve the system and competency of the admin staff. And the third one is, to is the overall improvement of the employees. So what, uh, what elements did we, did we, um, what elements did we take into consideration when choosing our best course of action? Uh, we, we gave the most importance to the on-time billing of clients, which we gave eighty percent, because, uh, because, it is in order for the company to to maintain the relationship with the clients because such late billings when done repeatedly may damage the 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 relationship. Uh, next is ten percent for the minimizing minimization of pilferage and ten percent of the increase in skill level of employees because these factors are more of are more on the internal factors that are concerning the company, which, which uh, is also important. However, uh, it is better to, to tackle one problem at a time and, and at the time being, the billing of the clients are more important. So what are the alternative courses of action? The first alternative course of action is to hire an admin head. Employing an admin head would allow the chief operations manager to have a key person that supervises the minor discrepancies and shortcomings of the admin staff. He would be in charge of uh, monitoring 
the bill, the billings of the clients, and the uh, accounts payable of the clients, and just generally the the management of the admin staff. However, it would this would incur more costs since uh, there will be the admin head would have to undergo rigorous training and uh, the additional salary of the admin head would have to be taken into consideration. The second course of action is to orchestrate a team building or retreat. Uh, doing so will foster a deeper bond and understanding with your employees. It could be done yearly in order to in order for the employees to have something to look forward to and to have a healthier work environment. However, the downside to this is that it doesn't really directly uh, uh, directly attack the, the problems that the companies are facing. Uh, it would only help with the rapport of the upper management and middle management in the uh, employees. Uh, the next uh, course of action is to produce a driver's handbook and contract. Uh, this would establish a control over the actions of the employees, which will help with the integrity issue. With a set rules and guidelines that are physically written in the handbook and not just relayed to them uh, with words, would help the employees uh, instill such values that the handbook says uh, into their being. Mm. It would also help with uh, labor relations since there is a handbook and a contract uh, which would which would contain the minimum minimum requirement to be a competent driver. Uh, the downside to this is that the drivers might feel oppressed by the strict rules imposed by the company uh, from the handbook. Uh, next alternative course of action would be the employee training. This is an overall improvement of each and every member of the company. There will be company seminars for the employees to acquire specific skills and just uh, employee training uh, in general. Uh, the last alternative course of action would be the technological innovations. It would be the acquisition of an application that would help the company's operation run smoothly. A software that is able to keep track of the needs of the company in order to increase its efficiency as a whole. So, um, uh, we decided to, to uh, choose the technological innovations as the best alternative course of action. Uh, the company needs an app that would automatically bill its customers, the automatic, the automated billing. Um, uh, as soon as the the merchandise would be delivered, the the, the customers would be able to access their billing statement with the push of a button. When, 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 when the merchandise has been uh, delivered, uh, this eliminates the problem of the admin staff when it comes to late billings. Um, the app would also have a built-in GPS per truck in order to keep track of the whereabouts of the truck at specific times. This would provide enough evidence for the driver enough evidence for when the driver drivers use the company's trucks again for their personal use. Mm. There would also be a record of transaction histories that would help the company backtrack on uh, backtrack on previous transactions and also um, see uh, uh, discrepancies on 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 transactions. Um, 
after consulting with a few people, uh, the cost of having someone to make an app for a company would go would be around fifty to one hundred thousand pesos, with a yearly soft yearly software update of about ten thousand pesos. When, uh, when opting for a uh, uh, monthly subscription, um, with an already existing app. Um, it would cost more in the long run, which is why it is better to have uh, uh, your own app, which you could, which you could mm, uh, make a similar copy of an already existing app. Uh, so yeah, to sum it all up, uh, the alternative course of action that we chose would eliminate the late billings thanks to the automated billing system. Uh, it would also leave less room for the drivers to do, uh, to do uh, bad things because of the GPS tracking system. And it would provide the managers a day-by-day -day record of the company's transactions, uh, which would help them better manage the company so yeah thank you for listening everyone uh bye bye